Yasmin and welcome to my first video how I study for the USMLE. I'm a German medical student studying in my sixth year in Riga, which is in Europe. Why? It's a story I'll save for later. <laughs> I want to share my experience on how I study for the USMLE, mainly because each time I try to YouTube uh, any experiences on how to study on the USMLE, I only encountered American students sharing their experiences, and obviously I cannot just simply take their recommendations and use it for my own purposes, because first off, I'm not even a native speaker, I don't go into their uni, so probably they made preparations way before taking the USMLE that I didn't. And quite frankly, opening up first aid, having a look at a bunch of random bullet points didn't make much of a sense to me. Also what was a big issue for me was that I've never even taken an MCQ based test before, let alone even timed. So I had to get used to all of these circumstances and I want to show how I got to the bottom of it and work myself up to the step two. Because I took step one this summer and I passed, yay, never gonna think about this again <laughs> and move on to the next chapter. Enjoy! Today is the first day, I'll take you on my journey for studying for the step two and yes, this is how I look when I don't exit my apartment. So I always start with watching these OME videos. I didn't get a subscription, but I did buy myself a OME companion book, I think they call it. And yes, I did have to pay for the customs, but that's just something you have to consider taking the step two. It's expensive. And afterwards, since I'm also parallelly studying for my own state exam in Riga, I'm going through these questions with just gastroenterology at this time. And once I've been through online meded and these gastro questions, I continue with every world question they got to offer in this particular section, which right now is going to be gastroenterology. And I'll continue with my, what is it? It's a vaginus lecture. So in case you're wondering if it's the same type of questions they asked on the USMLE and my own study exam, it's not. They will ask us something like gastroesophageal reflex disease, prevalence, definition, pathogenesis, and I actually have to come up with an answer myself. But So it's not an MCQ-based test, but it's more about knowing the general knowledge. And for gastroenterology, there are in total 17 questions. And for the most bit, the curriculum are the same, but sometimes the treatment guidelines are different, so I always have to keep that in mind while I study for the USMLE or my own set exam. And this is me, how I look when watching the OME videos. At first, I wasn't too sure about buying the companion book, but I ended up loving it because if you wanted to go back and have a look at the whiteboards and you didn't have this book, you had have to open up the video again, including the advertisements. And this way, I have everything handy in one book and I can put some notes and I really like it. 5 p.m. and it's time for my regular cup of tea and yes it's half the size of my head but this really wakes me up during the day it's kind of like my late afternoon pickup and I enjoy watching videos having a cup of tea and it's kind of like my go-to when I feel a bit down and I have to get stuff done Well, well, I finally made my way through all the script questions and the OME videos to finally answer some real you work questions and I want to show you how I do them. Due to copyright reason, I cannot show you the actual test, but I can show you how I choose my questions. Right now, I'm doing all the gastro questions, which is in a section of internal medicine, which is just basic medicine right here. I click on the gastro section and then always make a full block of 40 questions because that's the block you'll get in the exam. In each of these 40 questions I go into tutor mode and untimed. That's because right now I'm just in my acquiring phase. I don't even look at the time, I don't stress about the time, it's only all about getting the question right, so the task that I know what they're actually asking for. And then I read through the question and I take as much time it takes me 
to go through the question and click the right answer. It's just a lot of thinking process and if you hammer it in, I think it's easier to recognize it later than just click, like really skipping through the question, not reading through it. And after each question, I go through all the explanations. I make sure I know them and will be able to recognize them again and apply my just gain knowledge to another question of the same type. This takes me a lot of time. I'm not kidding. When I started doing this, it took me six hours for 40 questions, but at least at the end of the day, I knew what I was doing all day long and I feel very confident about it. The way how I approach a question is that I first off read the very last line of the question so I know what they are actually asking before I read the whole question stem. And then I go through all the answer choices so I kind of know what I need to be looking out for, especially on step two, uh, where the vignette is so long, I don't want to go back at one more time and read through all of it and uh, search for the right answer. Reading through these explanations, not only do I read why the right answer is right or why I chose the wrong answer, but I read through all answer choices. Not only helps me to recognize these answer choices and topics while I get tested on it, but it also helps me to exclude these diseases if I don't know the direct straightforward answer. That's basically what I do. Sometimes I don't know the right answer and I start excluding the, all the other answer choices and I'm left with the right one. It helps me a lot of times and it's crucial you don't let these out because um, you pay for the whole UWorld subscription. You should definitely use the full content. Now that I spent all this time studying about the general concept of health, I think I shouldn't forget about my own and that's why I make sure I go to the gym at least three times a week, one hour at a time. And this is where I just came from. And for me tomorrow, it's gonna be a green smoothie, which reminds me of, I can actually show you how I make them. So stay tuned. It is currently almost 12 a.m. right now, and I just finished my last 40 questions block, which means I made it through 60 questions total today. And let's see what percentage I got. And this block now, since I finished it, yes, yes, ooh, 62%, which is right on the average, I guess. Finally, I can turn to my wells of beauty sleep, which, let's face it, and there's no pun intended, I'm really in need of <laughs> look at this face. Oh my god. So I hope for the most part this helped you out because I really would have loved if somebody shared their experience with the USMLE from a non-American version and I hope that I can help somebody out there which has the same problems as I do or did or have or currently don't anymore whatever and um, yeah I might upload a few more videos. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Goodbye from me and San Francisco.